Okay, uh, so I have not caught Phoebus. I'm trying to in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, and so while I try to do that, I'll just answer questions, I guess. Uh, I think this is working. If not, I don't fucking know. There might be a delay, but... Oh, there we go. Okay. Let me just link that shit on the social media. I've been doing this for like a fucking hour, and it's driving me crazy. Like, I don't even, I don't think I'll even feel like a sense of accomplishment uh, when I do catch it, because it's been so long at this point. Okay. Trying to catch Phoebus in Pokemon Sun and Moon. So here's a Q&A stream. It's literally just me <laughs> staring at my 3DS. Won't stop till I catch the fucker. Okay. Okie doke. Man, it's been a while since I, uh, have streamed. Um, how do I fucking do this? I'll pop out. There we go. There we go. Come on, you can do it. You can load. What will I name my Phoebus? I actually do not name my Pokemon because I... Uh, I'm a joyless man, <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I just have never, for me it's like, I just want to know what the Pokemon is, um, I know everyone on the internet is like, oh, give it a cute personal name, but I've just been like, nah, it's fucking, this is, this is my, this is a Charmander, he's my Charmander, um, yeah, so yeah, it's basically gonna be me just staring like this, um, but I will answer questions as I reel shit in. Uh, I listened to an entire podcast episode hoping I would catch this damn Phoebus, uh, but with no success. Um, let me know how the volume is, I guess, if that's any good. Let me know if the game is too loud. Otherwise, you guys can just throw, whatever, just throw questions at me, or not, I don't care. I mean, I'm basically gonna be doing this until I catch the damn thing anyway. The stream ends, by the way, when I catch it. So, I guess get those questions in when you have the chance. Um, what's my favorite new Pokemon that I've caught? Uh, let me look at my Pokedex after I uh, run away from this Magikarp, the 5,000th Magikarp um, that I've fucking caught. Let's see. There have been, um... There's some, been some pretty good ones, actually. Uh, my favorite would probably be... Hmm. Let me look at these little guys. Uh, I really like the cheerleading bird, Oricorio. I think that's a very cute design. Um, that might... This wishy-washy fish is pretty funny. The one that's, like, crying... Uh, I like Tr Picky Peck and Trumbeak. Picky Peck just looks like Pearl from po uh, from Pokemon from uh, Steven Universe. Trumbeak is one of my solid teammates right now. Um, this mud braid donkey thing or horse is pretty funny. I think I would say just based on design alone. Um, or Corio is probably my favorite so far. I really want to get Crab Brawler because I love I love that design. Um, that's when I that's like the first one I've seen like another trainer have where I was actively like, oh shit, like that's a fucking dope design. 
Um, let's see. How's my day been so far? Pretty good. Basically just played Pokemon all day. Uh, well, no, I did a little, like, uh, recording and stuff like that, but mainly just um, Pokemon. That's pretty much going to be my entire life now, uh, now that this game is out. Um, what should you do with your life? I don't know. It's I don't know. It's all up to you, man. It's your. It's too much of a. It's too. Uh, it's too much of a burden on me. You got to figure your own shit out. Is Phoebus rare now? Phoebus has always been a pain in the ass to get. I do not. I don't care for Phoebus. You know what's what's great about this is that I already have Phoebus in like because I have a complete Pokedex in Y. So I could very easily just bring in a Melodic and just breed it or whatever and get a, a Phoebus egg. But I'm not gonna, you know, because I'm a stubborn a stubborn piece of shit and I need to catch Phoebus in this fucking game if it's the last thing I do. Um, and I don't even like Melodic or Phoebus. Well, Melodic's okay, but whatever. Um, how far am I into the game? Currently, I just beat the water captain, where you fight uh, the weeby... <laughs> what was it called? With the wimpy fish, but it's like a big fish, the totem version. Um, so I just did that, and then one of the NPCs in the center was like, Oh, if you get a, if you get a Phoebus, I'll reward you. And I was like, okay, how hard can that be, getting a Phoebus, right? I mean, oh, apparently it takes more than a fucking hour. So, that's what I've been doing. Um, so I'm currently at, what is this lake called? I don't remember the name of this area, because I've been in here so long. But I'm doing that right now. So, I'm about, what, three Z crystals in? Is that how we measure this, this game now? Because we don't have badges. So I guess we call it Z, just go by Z crystals. Uh, how cute is Effie? The cutest. Absolute, I mean, that was a, a course? How dare you even ask that? Um, who's on my team so far? Let's take a look. Right now, I'm trying to um, only have Alola Pokemon because I want to take advantage of the new ones. So right now it's Toracat, Trumbeak, Cutiefly, Mudbray, Rockruff, and then the egg I got at the uh, um, daycare, which I don't know what that is. Don't spoil it for me what it is. Um... Am I going to get a One Piece film gold poster to add to my One Piece wall? Uh, I haven't seen that movie. Is that even out? I don't know. Uh, I'm not that interested in it, to be honest. Uh, it looks a little... I mean, it looks okay. It just looks okay to me. I'll probably watch it. Uh, who knows? Maybe if I really love it, maybe I'll get a poster of it if I can find one. Um, what would Effie sound like if she were a Pokemon? Well, I'll just do my Effie voice. Effie! It's Effie. Effie. Because they say their name, right? So, Effie. She would say, It's Effie. That would be her cry. Um, best love live girl, Umi. Umi. I would die for Umi. What's my favorite animated anything? It's mm, a tough question. Favorite anime, Chihaya Furu. Favorite an Disney movie, Great Mouse Detective. Favorite Ghibli movie, um, Parco Rosso, I don't know, you gotta be more specific, I love all kinds of animation. <clears throat> Am I a Michigander? Yes. Hey Darko Hexar, good night to you buddy. Um... Oh, is he gonna play Sun and Moon? I'm playing Sun and Moon, but it's, I'm not gonna. I don't have a way to stream it, and also that's not what this is about. It's about a nice Q and A with you guys, my friends. So uh, you're just gonna. It's just gonna be me. This is all you're getting. It's just me sitting here uh, answering questions as I try to fail to catch this Phoebus. Cutie Fly is good. I like Cutie Fly. Uh, best Accors, is that how you say it? Accors, Accors girl? Uh, that's tough. 
I like Yo. Is that how you say your name? Yo? It's, I mean, they spell it Y-O-U, but Yo, Yo, whatever her name is. I like her. Yohane is funny. Um, Mari is also very funny. One of those three. I don't I don't know enough about them yet to have a best Akkor's girl yet. Um, um, did I get that snow today? We got a little bit, but not too much. I fucking hate snow, so I'm hoping uh, we don't get much. Especially because I'm going to be traveling uh, out of town pretty soon for Thanksgiving. And I don't want icy roads to deal with while I'm going. Um, let's see. Am I soft resetting at Bubble Rocks? No, I don't soft reset. I'm doing it the old fashioned way. Because I hate myself. Because I am a glutton for punishment. I This is not my first Pokemon Rodeo. I have uh, played my share of... Um, Pokemon games, and I have wasted hours upon hours just catching stuff with 1% encounter rates when it wasn't even worth it. And plus, the bubbles only make it go up to 5%, which, I mean, if I'm going to be sitting here for the long haul, it's not going to make that much of a difference. Or maybe it will, I don't know. Maybe I'll run to the Pokemon Center, get some repels, and then just, what I have to do, just swim around and look for the bubble rocks? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know a dog. I'm gonna get some. Oh, no, I have some water. I was gonna say I was gonna get some water. Anyway, if you have more questions, shoot. Uh, yeah. How many people are even in here? Oh, okay. It's a little, it's a good number, I guess. Bagon has a 1%... Oops, I gotta pay attention. Sorry, gotta snag a fish first before I read that. Bagon has a 1% on Route 3 and has a 1% to call a Salamence for help. Uh, fuck that. I might not even, I probably won't even go for that. That is ridiculous. Um, because I already, because here's the thing. Phoebus, it's like, if I go at it enough times, I'll probably get it. But what, 1% and then a 1%, that's just bad game design, honestly. And I do not like the call for help system at all. I think it's just a very irritating feature. Um, has Sun and Moon lived up to expectations? So far, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I think the beginning was very slow. Um, because it's constant, like, Oh, hey, you know how to catch a Pokemon? Oh, I just wanna, wanna f teach you how to <laughs> suck your own dick? It's just constant, like, characters interrupting you, and, like, I already know. I was saying this on Twitter, but I wish there was just, like, Hey, um, I know, uh, how to fucking play Pokemon. I've played six, like, I understand that, um... You need to teach kids how to play the game, and newcomers. I get that. I think it's good to make the game accessible. But there needs to be, like, an option that's just like, I know how to play. I have played six of these already. Just, just don't t teach me how to play this game. Just throw me in there. Give me some Pokeballs. Let me just go to town. Because that's what I want. Is it Gym 2 in Gen, Gen 6 slow? I honestly don't remember. Uh, you know, I enjoyed why... Or here's, here's the thing. Uh, the Pokemon games, I don't re ever remember gyms anymore. Like, they just are kind of a blur. Because I get, you know, you, you go through the campaign, and, and then it just goes... And then you just start beating the Elite Four over and over again, right? Because you're grinding, you're trying to get, you know, XP and money. And so I just forget, like, all the gym leaders. Like, if you ask me... Like, I remember the first two... I remember the first gen's gym leaders perfectly. The second I know pretty well, because I, you know, loved that game. Third gen? Yeah, I could say. But then fourth, fifth, sixth? Like, I don't remember any of the fucking gym leaders, like, at all. Like, vaguely? But if you ask me, like, oh, what was their gym like? Or what 
what was her name? I don't, I don't know. It's like I, it's like I didn't even play it. Um, because the also the gyms are just so easy, so it doesn't really matter <laughs> if I remember them or not, because they're just a blur. Um, God, I feel like I've been doing this for five hours, but it's probably been only about like an hour. Um, I might just eventually give up out of fatigue because it's so boring at this point. Has the pacing reached Gen 4 levels of slow yet? Uh, again, I don't really remember. Um, funny thing about me is, after Gen 3, um, I like kind of fell out of Pokemon, the Pokemon games. Uh, I didn't play Diamond... What happened was... Oh no, I played Soul Silver, but I didn't play Diamond Pro Platinum for a long time because I was just kind of like, I don't know, I guess I lost interest. But then a friend of mine, uh, a good friend of mine, uh, started playing them, and then when he started playing the Pokemon games, because he was the same as me, he fell out of them. Um, he basically became my Pokemon brother, and like we like, you know, traded with each other and helped each other, and so we both have full Pokedexes now. Well, not anymore after Sun and Moon is up, but in Gen 6 we had full Pokedexes because we basically helped each other like with whatever the other person didn't have. And so after he started playing, that's when I picked up uh, like Platinum, Black and White, and Y. Like basically I played them in a row. So those games are, it's kind of, I kind of forget, they kind of are like a blur to me because I played them like right after, like, Y had been out for, like, maybe a year when I played it. So I played those games, like, in succession very quickly. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Who the hell is texting me? Come on, you little bitch. Just come out. Oh my god. Honestly, I wish in fishing it just what well, you didn't have to play it like this stupid Stop texting me. I wish you didn't have to like press A to like oh like oh if you don't press A you miss it, like just catch the Pokemon, okay? I'm gonna be doing this hundreds of times, don't make me do like a little mini game every time I have to fish a fucking Pokemon. Like, it's just, you just get so tired of like, oh god, I'll wait for the X and then sometimes it's like, nothing seems to be biting. Like, what is the point of that? There is no point. Especially in this game, because in this game, you don't even like, get to choose where you fish. There are like, select spots that you can fish from. Um... Who's been my favorite Pokemon girl? Uh, teacher, oh, well, what were we saying? Teacher Emily, or whatever. Yeah, she's a babe. <laughs> Have I considered doing something like a Nuzlocke? Uh, maybe. Maybe in, like, press buttons and talk or something, but on my own time, no. I, I think I'd get too frustrated. But if it was not for, like, a Let's Play or something, that might be kind of funny. Um, did I nickname Litten Effie? I did not, because I don't nickname him Pokemon, and also Litten, it was a boy, unfortunately. I kind of wish they made, because what is it, like a 75% male, 25% female ratio? Or something like that, maybe even lower than that. Um, but I wish it was just half and half, because I want, sometimes I just want like a girl starter, you know? But it's, you know, just like, fucking impossible. How do I feel about QR codes, the QR scanner? I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Can you do that now? You can just scan in a Pokemon? Uh, if so, that's pretty crazy. Um, I don't know if I would use that. Maybe I would. I don't know. I don't... It kind of... It seems like it kind of defeats the purpose, if that's what you're saying. Because I haven't heard about this. I'm going to join you in solidarity. Where are you fishing? I'm fishing in the first lake in this... I don't remember the name of this lake. It's the lake It's the lake area where you fight the water totem. Um, so that's where I'm fishing. 
Teacher Emily looks like Shimizu. Yeah, she does. That's part of the part of the charm. QR codes are just for Pokédex stuff, as far as I know. Okay, so it just gives you the Pokédex entry, or it... okay, that's interesting, I guess. Um, that's not, but so wait, it like it completes it as as caught, or just gives you the entry? Because if it completes it as caught. I'm not gonna do that. That just defeats the purpose. Like you don't even you don't even get the Pokemon. You just get like a false entry. Fuck that. What kind of headset is this? A really cheap one. I don't even remember the brand. Panasonic. Panasonic RPHT21. They are very. They are. Um. My. I go through headphones pretty not fairly often, but maybe not as often now because I used to exercise with them, but now I have a different pair. Um. But. I just get cheap ones because I don't care about getting a really expensive pair of headphones. Like, it's going to wear out eventually. I don't want to pay, like, a bunch. But I actually really like these. They're very comfortable, and the sound quality is pretty good for what you're getting. So, I... I'm... They are fine, but I... I, I like them. If you scan 10 QR codes, it shows you a random location to catch a rarish Pokemon. But then it gives you the entry. I don't want to cheat. It's cheating. I don't want to do that. Fuck that. Um, and by the way, the questions don't have to be about, about Pokemon. They can be about me or anything else. Um, let's see. Anything you'd recommend for someone entering 7th gen? I don't know. It's pretty similar to... 6. Oh, you haven't played 6. You, played, you haven't played since Black. Um... I don't know. Nothing really much. Wonder Trade's awesome if, if you haven't done that. I haven't done it yet in this, but I love Wonder Trade. Am I remotely into... Oh, okay. So you can get QR one QR scan per two hours. Once you scan ten QR codes, you can use the global scan, which tells you the location of a rare Pokemon. So are these Pokemon that wouldn't appear... Otherwise, unless you showed the QR scan, or are they ones that are in the game, but it just tells you where they are at that moment? Um, am I into Final Fantasy games? Uh, 9 is my favorite. I uh, 7 is also one of my favorites. I really like 9 and 7. I've played 1, 2, 4, 10, 12. I'm, well, not even just played. I beat 1, 2, 4, 10, 12, 7, 9, 13. Um... But set nine and seven are the only ones I like really like, so I don't know. If you would, I don't know if I'd say I'm really into Final Fantasy, but I love nine and seven. The other ones are pretty good. I didn't like four. Or ten is just eh to me. Will I be playing Final Fantasy fifteen? Probably. It looks pretty fun, but it's not a. I'm not like ridiculously excited for it or anything. What DS do I have? It's a 3DS XL. And it has, it's the Mario and Luigi, like, 20... What is it? The Year of Luigi 30th Anniversary one. Which came with uh, Dream Team, which I haven't even played. <laughs> I have it, but I haven't played it. Um, yeah. I hate... I, like, look back at the screen, and I, like, don't even remember what I'm doing. It's, like, it's just... I'm just running through the motions. Fucking 1% catch rate. It's just ridiculous. I guess I'll look into that QR stuff. If they... Because if it shows, like... Pre-Gen 7 Pokemon, I don't need it. Because I already have a full Dex in uh, Y. So I can basically just transfer stuff if I feel like it. Um... But if it shows rare Gen 7 ones that are only shown by the QR codes, maybe. But, I don't know, I haven't really... I didn't know that was a thing. Can we ask for skit reenactments? Nah, I'm too tired. I'm too tired and I'm concentrating right now. It's very important. Come on. Did I ever play the Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney crossover? I did. I thought it was pretty good. 
I thought the latent parts were more fun than the Ace Attorney parts. I thought the Ace Attorney parts were kind of annoying, actually, but not bad. But I, I love, I always love latent games, so. Oop. Okay, run away. And, like, I would kill these Magikarp, like, but ugh, they call for help and it's just fucking, I don't want to deal with it. Is the Rattata sign still up? It is, it's over there. Maybe I can show you. There it is. I'm leaving that up, because um, it confuses people, and because I think it's funny. Um, if you haven't, if you don't know what that's from, it's from a vine I did. Uh, and there, even now I'll get comments that are either, or comments that are like, Why is there a Rattata picture? Um, because I feel like it, bitch. Also because I like that vine. Am I ever going to make another Goofy Sings? Probably not. What's my desktop background? It's Calvin and Hobbes on a nice fall autumn day. They're relaxing in a tree. Because I love Calvin and Hobbes. That's just a nice, it's a pretty, it's a pretty picture because Bill Watterson is a really good artist, actually. Why is it not possible to throw a stick of dynamite in the water? Yeah, I wish. I don't care if I'd kill hundreds of innocent fish, I just want to get this Phoebus. Do I think that I'll make any more dramatic readings? Um, maybe. I don't know. It, it really would have to be something... That was something I did, like, a couple of years ago. And I did, like, several of them in succession. And I, I enjoyed them at the time. But then I just got kind of tired of them. I did, like, a Dora the Explorer one, which I don't know if I put on YouTube. But that was kind of, like, my goodbye to it, because I kind of subverted people's expectations, I guess. It was kind of like how I did Uptown Goofy as my last Goofy song. Um, so I'll, I'll say, I won't say like never, but it's, it'd have to be something like really interesting to me. Because now it's like, I don't know, I'm just not interested in it anymore. I still do, if it was like, I don't know, I guess it would depend on what it was. Um, come on. What was my initial reaction on hearing Vine was shut down? It was a bummer, um, but I was more upset about the fact that there are so many good um, Vine makers that it's just it just fucking sucks that this this was a platform that was so much fun. I still think it is it was one of the fun it had some of the funniest like most unique videos more than any other. Um, social media platform and so it was just like some of these some of these viners they don't have presences outside of vine which is which sucks if you take down vine because then where are you gonna find these people like yeah they might have a YouTube channel but uh, it's just hard to find sometimes you know and like I was okay I wasn't um, concerned for myself necessarily because I've always had a very big Tumblr, Tumblr following. My YouTube's gotten up there. Even on Twitter, like you know, I'm. I would say I have, a, I guess, a sizable amount of followers. So, I wasn't just gonna like. I wasn't gonna be fucked by Vine being gone. So instead, I was more upset about just losing the platform as a whole and just how it would affect other Viners who I really like. Um, I don't know. I think it's just a damn shame. Don't mind me if I pause just out of nowhere. I'm just trying to wrangle a Magikarp. <laughs> I should say, try to wrangle a Phoebus. I I'm just so I'm so defeated. I'm like, it's just going to be another Magikarp. See, nothing seems to be biting. Like, what is the fucking point? Just, just catch something every time. Like, it's so stupid. I mean, I know it's always been in these games. Like, oh, the bite, it failed. But why? It's just a waste of time. It doesn't add anything to the experience. Favorite video game soundtrack? Um, I really like Final Fantasy IX a lot. I don't know. Persona 
4 has a good soundtrack. Mm. Some three, uh, Paper Mario, I really like that soundtrack a lot. Um, have I seen Yuri on Ice? I have not. Uh, will I check it out? Maybe. Um, people seem to like it. Uh, so yeah, maybe. Am I going to cons coming up? I will be at ShudoCon in Lansing. Uh, and that's, what, March, I think? I'm a... Or no. Yeah, I think March. Excuse me. I'm going to be attending that just as just for fun, not as a guest. In April, in ShumatsuCon in Ohio, I will be a guest, actually. Um, and then... Uh, that's what's currently set now. There are other things I, I can't talk about that are in the works, but I cannot officially, ooh, officially announce yet. But, um, those are the two that I'm definitely, I basically go to ShudoCon and YumaCon in Michigan every year. Um, anything else? I'm trying to find a big con to go to, because Otacon's moving to DC and I don't want to go to DC. Because I used to go to Otacon like every year. So I'm trying to find a big con to replace that. We're thinking maybe Colossal Con. Was that Colossal Con in Ohio? Is that the water park one? We're thinking maybe that one. But we don't know. We don't have a concrete plan yet for that. Um, other than that, those are what I'm going to. Or planning to go to for sure. Uh, come on. How did my venture into the Twitter K-pop suggestions go? Oh, very well, actually. Um, I got found some new songs I really like. Um, I'm obsessed with uh, Red Velvet's Russian Roulette video. That's a fantastic video. Like, really creepy, but really, like, chirpy and creepy. Um, I'll just list the songs that I really liked from that list. Um, AOA's Miniskirt, which I've seen before, but well, I like that video. Act Dong Musicians, um... How people move and rebuy. They, I think they're amazing, especially um. I'm her my her name is slipping me or, uh, escaping me right now. But the female singer and act on musician is amazing. Uh, Fifteen Ants Sugar I really liked. Oh my girls liar liar I thought was pretty good. Um, I use Friday. I use always good. Um, so yeah, I always. Whenever I need like just some new music to listen to. I'll just go, hey guys, uh, link me some catchy ass shit, and then usually some good stuff will come in. That's probably one of my fa it's one of my favorite things about having a, I guess, Twitter following is I can just be like, hello, thousands of people, please recommend <laughs> lots of good things, and it's usually a pretty good, wide, interesting selection of stuff. Um, favorite player in Haiku is Kageyama. Have I played Mystic Messenger? I have not. When will the Pro ZD route open? Not soon enough. Do I have any recommendation uh, recommendations on a short anime? Hmm. Good question. Uh, Gekkan Show Gekkan Nozaki Kun is really good. Um, what else is there? So if we're talking thirteen episodes ish, that one Mob Psycho One Hundred is amazing. That's a new one that I loved. Uh, One Punch Man's pretty good. Sound Euphonium's really good. Um, yeah, that'll that should be enough to for you to go for. Um. Oh, I seen you at Yumikon. You were so nice. Oh, it was nice. T I'm glad that uh. I wasn't a dick. <laughs> Not that I'm ever a dick to people. But it, it is always very nice to meet people. Um, uh, people are just nice, man. They're just so nice. I'm always... And, like, sometimes people are, like, super, like, shy. And I'm always just like, hey, man, it's just me, you know. It's all good. But it's always very flattering and always um, very nice. Um, why do I want a Phoebus so bad? You know... 
even I don't know at this point. Um, it's not even it's not even gonna be worth it at this point. Like I said before, I could just get a Phoebus um, from because I already have I already have Melodic in my other game, but I'm just so stubborn where it's like I just gotta get this Phoebus in the game if I can. We'll see. We'll see if I give up before I get it. I don't know, this is pretty fun, this Q&A, so... Um, if I get... If the questions just dry up and I'm just tired, and I'll probably just end it. But hopefully I'll find it. Um, if asked, invited, would you ever consider doing work with the DBZA team? Um, <laughs> uh, I would. And I won't say anything else, but I would. Um, okay. Let's see. Favorite character from Mob Psycho 100? Um, ooh. I mean, Reg you can't go wrong with Reagan. Reagan's great. Oh, fucking missed the exclamation point. Come on. Did I have a chance to listen to Blackpink's Playing With Fire? I don't remember if I listened to that one specifically. Uh, I don't know if Blackpink is necessarily... Maybe I just haven't listened to the right song. But I've listened to a couple of their songs. They're not really my style, maybe? But maybe I just need to listen to the right song. Sweetness is Lightning. Or Sweetness and Lightning I hear is pretty good. Um... I got the manga, the first volume of the manga from Loot Crate or Loot Anime, so I should check that out. Um, the premise sounds right up my alley. Um, oh yeah, by the way, if I uh, don't answer a question, well, it's probably because I already answered it earlier in the stream. Am I looking forward to Noragami Season 3? I have not seen any Nor Noragami Seasons, so no. Uh, I haven't seen it. Some people think I've seen it, because I made a video where it was like, oh, when a ex intense song comes on that's more intense than you were expecting. I don't even remember the names of my own videos, that's sad, but, um, I, I, I guess, or the song from that was an origami opening, but I actually had heard that song in a music video, not from the anime. I didn't know it was from an anime <laughs> until later, actually. I really love that song, though. What is it, Kyor Kyoran, Hey Kids, or whatever? That's a great song. Who do I think should be the dub voice actor for Mob slash Shigeo? Me. I don't know. <laughs> Favorite anime of the fall season? I don't watch anime by season, so I don't know. Um, I always watch anime when it's completed. I don't watch episode by episode. Unless it's like One Piece or something, which is, you know, that's going to be forever, but... Otherwise, I don't watch by season, so I don't know. I don't. I couldn't even tell you like what show was from what season that I've seen in the past because I, again, it's just I wait till it's done. God, nothing seems to be biting. Bite my fucking asshole. Jesus. Goldine, you are not Phoebus. Goldine, you are the worst. Any more questions? Real talk though, who's my waifu? <laughs> My literal wife is Anne Marie, but if we're talking about fictional characters, uh, you gotta be more specific. I have too many, too many waifus. I don't even, I don't even say the word wife. I say wives. I have too many wives. You're gonna have to throw like a specific uh, show or game at me. Otherwise, I can't tell you because I have too many. 
What do I think of Gladian so far? Oh, is he the Team Skull Kid? He's okay. I don't know much about him yet. I only ran into once. He was like, Oh, I'm like, I'm pretty strong. Oh no, you beat me. Like, I'm guessing that that's strong. So, his design, his design's kind of goofy. I kind of like it. How 70 people are in here still interested in this is beyond me. My favorite Professor Layton game is Unbound Future, because that's a masterpiece. The worst one is Azeron Legacy, because that's just a giant mess. Do I stream often? No, actually, I have not streamed in a long time. This was entirely on a whim. Um, and I'm doing it because I'm bored, because I have not caught Phoebus yet. Like, I basically did it for an hour, and I was like, fuck it, I'll just stream or something, because keep my mind occupied as I um, just go for this just pointless pointless goal what capture card am I using right now? I don't even know I don't know shit about computers what's even like, what is the capture card? <laughs> um, How is Spirit of Justice? It was very good. I would highly recommend it. I won't spoil it, because it's... I mean, it's been out for a while, but... Again, I, w I don't spoil stuff anyway. Um, but I really liked it. I liked it more than five. Can you show us your Sun slash Moon character? It's, it's literally just the default character. So, y it's not worth showing. Um, I am very... <laughs> Very straightforward when it when it comes to Pokemon. Like, it'll they'll introduce stuff like this is the this is the friend plaza. This is you can dress up your character in clothes, and it's like I don't give a shit. Just I want to catch Pokemon and fight and evolve them and fight. That's all I care about. Um, and I'm not I'm not disparaging those features. I think they're I think they're a cool thing. Um, but I just am not interested. There are whole sections of, like, Gen 4, Gen 5 I just didn't play. There, were, there was, like, a whole minigame stadium in Soul Silver. I did not even try it. I was, I hadn't, I was just like, I, I, I don't care. Um. Let's see. Can we get your friend code? Uh, no, because that'd be, it's gonna be too many, it's too many codes, too many people requests, and also I think I'm full. I need to cut down on my list, I think, actually. You can tell it's, uh, late at night, because with that kind of question, which is a fine question, I'm not, I'm not saying it's, I'm not, um, saying you can't ask me that, but if it were earlier, I'd probably be like, oh, you know, oh, it's a little, but now here I'm just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, I'm playing Sun, trying to get an Abra since forever. What you gotta do is throw an Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball immediately. That's what you gotta do. Don't even, don't even wait around. I didn't have that much trouble catching Abra, but you can't give it a chance to like um, escape. Just go for the Ultra Ball first throw, man. It's not that hard to get, but I wish you luck. Do I ever battle competitively? Nope. I do not care about battling. Uh, I, I mean, I don't care about battling other people. Um, for me, the joy of Pokemon is ca completing the decks. That's why I have a complete dex and why. I'm very proud of that fact. And um, I don't care about, like, oh, making my Pokemon the strongest it can be. Like, I just want that. It's all about numbers going up, man. Just get those numbers up to completion. Do I have Animal Crossing New Leaf? I do. It's a magnificent game. And I got every gold badge in that game. Uh, that took about 800 hours. So, yeah. I would say I have New Leaf. But I know, I love New Leaf. Oh god, a shiny... <coughs> shiny Abra turned up and it burst out and teleported away. That hurts me. I am very sorry to hear that, Devil Maya. That is genuinely heartbreaking. I'm very sorry to hear that. 
Have I ever played Os? What's Os? Is that that Oendon game? Am I mixing? I, I might be mixing up games. Is that that old DS, like Elite Beat Agents game, or is that a different game? Anyway, no. How much Pokemon Go did I play? I still play it ish, but not nearly as much as I used to. Um, the problem with that game is. Pokemon are only really prevalent in, like, cities, and I don't live in, like, a city. Um, there's a city near me, um, but it's, like, I don't know, I don't feel like driving out there all the time. So if I'm ever in an area where Pokemon would appear, I will. And sometimes if I'm in my apartment, I'll check, because I actually do get some decent ones. Uh, excuse me. And they also did up the encounter rate. But you know what, now that the real Pokemon's out... It's like, do you even need the shitty Pokemon Go anymore? Do I watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? No, but I should. It's one on my to-watch list for sure. Who's my favorite One Piece character? Zoro. Zoro would be my favorite. I also really like Jinbei and Trafalgar Law. Going back to that wife question, um, throw a game at me, or a series, or whatever, show, anime, I don't care, and I'll tell you my wife from it. Or my husband. Or both. You know, I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna get some water. You can just listen to this music for a bit. What I appreciate about uh, streaming, because I don't do, I barely do it, and I'm not looking into being like a big streamer or anything, is I don't need to put much effort into it. Um, like every other creative thing I do, I I put a good amount, I, what I believe, a good amount of effort into it. Even like short videos, um, every short video I've made, um, you don't watch, you don't see like the countless like, because I const, like I like. Um, We'll keep doing the take until I think it's the funniest version, or I'll just just think, oh, is this the funnier version? Um, I try to be better about that now, but um, even with my Let's Play channel, press buttons and talk. Check it out. Um, you still have to be, like, engaging and, like, on. When I say on, I mean, like, because now I'm just basically talking stream of consciousness, like, very chill. When you do a Let's Play... Or at least when I do a Let's Play. Um, it's not that I'm... Um, it's like, I mean, I have to be on point, I guess. It's not that I play a character, or that I uh, am, like, trying to be something I'm not. It is a version of me that... Uh, well, actually, what I really like about that, about doing the Let's Plays with Alex, my friend, is that um, I think it, there's a very natural... We never... Um, try to pretend or act like because I think a lot of um, let's players just over exaggerate their reactions or go whoa and try to try to I guess portray themselves as something they're really not but I I like to think that on press buttons and talk that we have a natural chemistry because that is generally how we talk and joke around and act um, but with this I don't even have to try you know 
even with Let's Plays, there's a degree of, you know, trying, but this is just, do whatever I want, just talk, I don't give a shit. Alright, when did I first get into doing voices? Uh, seriously doing it? Maybe four or five years ago, but when did I start doing it? Probably like when I was 16. Um, I wasn't terrible, but that's when I started. Um, I would say I seriously started really working at it when I was 21. I'm 25 now, soon to be 26. Which One Piece movies would you say are the most worth watching? I have not seen that many of them, but I would say the only one really worth watching is Strong World, from what I've seen. I watched Z, I didn't like it. I thought it was pretty dumb. Um, what Strong World is... Can or, I don't know if it's officially canon, but it was written by Oda. So it's basically canon in my book. Um, so, Strong World I think is great. Um, I hear... Oh, I hear the one by... Oh, what was it called? The Baron... Something Island... Whatever the fuck. I'm gonna look up the name. It was the one by Mamoru Hosoda, who is, you know, amazing director. Um, oh yeah, Baron Omatsuri and the Secret Island. I hear that one's really good, and that's what, that's one I want to check out. Because um, it just looks so weird, and the animation looks crazy in that. Um, Mamoru Hosoda is just brilliant, I think, anyway. Wolf Children, I'm not, <laughs> I think, a lot of people think that. Wolf Children, Summer Wars, I didn't like Girl Who Leapt Through Time as much, but those two movies, I think, are brilliant. I haven't seen Boy and the Beast yet, but I'd like to. But I would say I would say definitely check out Strong World. I think it's a pretty dope movie. Did I play the new Animal Crossing update? I did not. Uh, I played 800 hours of New Leaf. I. It's gonna be hard to pull me back into that. I think. Although it looked cute. I don't have an amiibo reader though, so I can't really. Wasn't it mostly like amiibo stuff? I don't know. I don't know, I like, again, once, after you get every gold badge and play the game for eight, I literally play that game for, I think, two years every day. Uh, so, you kind of, <laughs> once I was done, I was like, I'm done. Favorite Frankie heart hairstyle? Uh, excuse me. Aside from the classic, the one where it's a gun, that one's amazing. Ace Attorney Wife, Athena. Now we're going into the, into the wives. What am I going to do if my Phoebus has a bad nature? I don't give a shit. I don't care about that. Again, I'm all about just collecting them. Collecting them, just fill the numbers. That's what I do. Does my wife have a waifu or husbando? Oh yeah, but I don't... She likes a, what, tuxedo mask? She has a couple, yeah. Kamina. Um, Gekkan Shoujo, who's my wife from that? Mmm, probably Kashima. My favorite character is probably, uh, Sakura. Um, I wouldn't say she's my wife, I'd say she's my, uh, the, more like my daughter. I've got a fan going, how hot is it over here? Uh, it's very cold outside, but our apartment has heat that we cannot control. So it is actually pretty hot in here, so that's why I have the fan on. Um, it's actually really annoying having heat you can't control. Because I actually don't mind cooler weather, but it's like a fucking sauna in here. Ore wa o chinchin ga daisuki nandayo? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Um, thoughts on the first four kids One Piece opening? <laughs> Dope as hell. It's the only good thing about the four kids one four kids opening. Or four kids one piece, I mean. Um can I balance a shoe on my head? I don't know. Probably not. Favorite character from Mario RPG? Probably Bowser. Bowser's always my favorite. If you're talking about specific to that game, probably Gino. I only played that one once. Paper Mario I've played six or seven times, but um, I only played Mario RPG once. I played it a little bit as a kid, but I only beat it as an adult, and you know what? It's not as good as Paper Mario. I'm just going to say that. A 
open the window. Eh, yeah, that'll get too cold. Maybe? Mm. Okay. Do I like any shiny Pokemon in particular? Man, I like any shiny Pokemon. As long as it's, um... Like, you know, you know those shitty shinies where it's like a vaguely darker version or lighter version of the regular color? Like, what is the fucking point of that? Like, that's just stupid. Um, so yeah, any... Let's see, do I have any good ones? The blue... Or... I think I have a blue Voltorb. That might be my favorite one I have. Um, blue Ponyta is awesome. Um, preferred Super Smash Bros. character, Dr. Mario. Ever since Melee, and I'm glad they brought him back for 4. Have I played Super Mario Sunshine? I have not. That's one I just totally missed, and I had a GameCube. And I played a bunch of GameCube games, but I just never played that one for some reason. That looks like a- it looks like a- it looks like a fucking weird game, too. Favorite character on Overwatch? I have never played Overwatch. So, I don't know. <laughs> wow, 88 people? Why? How can this be interesting? Do I have a favorite piece of music from Moon yet? Um, I think the rival, or what's his name, How, his battle theme is awesome. I think that's a, a great song. That's probably my favorite so far. Have I ever played Pokemon Gale of Darkness? I have not. Was that the GameCube one? Is that the one that was like, Pokemon XD? Which I always thought was funny because of the, you know, the emoticon. It, it is, this stream is interesting because it's late at night and your voice is soothing. What is this, some ASMR shit? People always ask me, oh, you, you should do ASMR, which um, I have no interest in doing, but I think it's interesting. I don't get it, but I think it's interesting. Is my wife playing Pokemon too? Yeah, she got Moon and I got Sun. She is not that far. She started playing it today, um, but the beginning of the game is so slow, so I think she got kind of bored. But yeah, she's been playing it. She picked Poplio and I picked Litten. Um, I just don't get shiny hunting. I can enjoy it. Uh, I forget which game it was. What was like the shaking bushes? I think that's actually kind of fun. Um, but. Yeah, I don't know. I that's just me. And I, I love shiny Pokemon. ASMR is a good way of saying it. Oh, for my what this is, yeah. I guess it, I mean I guess it's pretty much just ASMR, isn't it? Just hello, hello there, it's me, doing essay essay ASM, ASMR for you. I'm gonna crinkle some gum wrappers or whatever it is they do. I don't mean to mock ASM for you know because it really helps some people. So, um, but, but I, I just think it's a um, it's interesting. My opinion on Litten's third evolution. Uh, I think it's funny. I don't know if I love it, but I think it's funny and that's good enough for me. We'll see when I actually get it in game. Where's the kitty? The door is closed right now because my wife is asleep. Not that I'm talking that loudly, but um, so she is somewhere out there, probably just chilling. How 
long has this fucking stream been going? Oh, balls. It's been going like an hour? God, I've been doing this like an hour? That means I've been doing this like two hours. Fucking gross. I hate Phoebus. I had to take the opportunity to name my Incineroar the Rock. Good choice. Man, the Rock. What a beautiful man. You know he's the most paid actor in the world? And he fucking deserves it. I love The Rock. How old am I? 25. God damn it. I hate this game. <laughs> I feel like another hour will be my limit. God, one I have I have caught I have fished so many. Um Fuck Mary Kill, Bowser, Wario, Ganondorf. Fuck Ganondorf, Mary, Bowser, Kill Wario. And I like Wario, but kill Wario. Um, don't you hate it when an enemy trainer uses a fucking... F I'm just going to assume you said fucking. Fucking full restore? I do. I think that's bullshit. I was fighting a... What do you call it? Like a madam. Like one of those rich old lady trainers. And she used a full restore. And I was like, fuck you. You piece of garbage. I'm hatching some Phoebus eggs, Sung One. You want one? No, I gotta do this the old-fashioned way. That or I'm just gonna transfer my melodic. Like I, like, like I said, like, if I don't get a Phoebus here, it's not the end of the world. But I wanna try to get it. If possible. Because if I give up here, I'm not gonna go back to this. Like, this is ridiculous. I'm getting a lot of big pearls, though. I'm, I'm gonna be loaded. Uh, whenever... Regardless of whether I catch it or not. Am I going to YouTube more since Vine is gone-ish? I mean, I've been posting a lot of stuff to Instagram. Um, basically, what, what I do is I post Twitter. Post, like, my short, short form videos. I post them to Twitter, then Instagram, then on Tumblr, and then later on YouTube. Um... So yeah, um, and then I do like, you know, um, like those food unboxing videos on YouTube, which some people seem to like. Um, I'd like to do more vlogging, but I just don't have time right now. I'm very busy. Uh, like, maybe if my schedule frees up more, I'll do some more vlogs, because I enjoy doing them. Um, but right now, like, uh, I have too much on my plate. Who's my go-to character in Mario Kart? Wario. Anytime there's a Mario game, I always pick Wario. Wario is my spirit animal. Did I grab the Munchlax with the snor Snorlium question mark? The what? I don't even know what that is, but no. Um, where is my seat on the hype train for Breath of the Wild? I'm excited for it. I'm not. I'm not a, a an amaze like a huge Zelda fan, but I like Zelda. So, and Breath of the Wild looks very good. It looks beautiful and fun. So, um, I'm excited for it. That alone won't be the reason why I get a Switch. For me, my. For me, it's gonna be Mario. Like I love Mario. I've loved Mario my whole life. Uh, so whatever, because I think 3D World is a masterpiece. I know people shit on the Wii U, for good reason. I, well, I can understand it at least, because there's not that many games on it, but 3D World, um, man, that alone might make it worth it to me.
On the main menu of the game, you can grab the mystery gift, which is a Munchlax. Oh, you don't need a code? Oh, I guess I'll get it then. Do they, like, announce those? Or just... If you know about it, you can get it. Do I have anything I'd really like to see in the new Mario? Nothing in particular. Um, I trust... I trust Miyamoto, so... I guess... Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited for whatever they show. That little snippet in the Switch trailer, that alone, like, had me, like, you know, fucking jizzing my pants. I miss SMX64. Oh, by the way, hey, what's up, man? I, Comic Fiend. Um, I miss SM64's Hub World. Hoping Mario Switch will have that. Um... I guess I I know where you're, I know where you're coming from. Um, it was pretty cool, but sometimes it was a little tedious. I thought, but I, I I guess it was pretty cool. By the way, I am um reading these out loud because I might upload this to YouTube, and I'm not going to include the chat, uh, or the chat is not in the video, so that's why I am. Which I don't even know if I'll put this on YouTube because it's just who's going to watch this? Like it's just going to be an hour of just me like. Mumbling, <laughs> mumbling into a microphone as uh, Pokemon music plays faintly in the background. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it up. We'll see. I did a bunch of these streams doing like um, uh, Picross, but I never, I never saved any of them. But this one I'm, I'm actually recording. I guess I'll put it up. Like, why not? We'll see. I guess we'll see. I'm always like, are people, do people even give a shit about like a Q&A with me? Like, am I not, maybe I'm overestimating how interested people would be in something like that. But you're all in here, so I guess some people are interested. Let's see, fuck, Mary, kill, Waluigi, or Goron, Magic Koopa. Uh, well, their person, what's their personality? I guess I'll say, um, fuck. <laughs> That's the thing, if it was like a specific Goron, I might have a better idea. Maybe if it was for, you know, Darunia, I'd fuck the shit out of him, but. I guess I'll kill the Magikoopa, fuck the Goron, I guess? and marry Waluigi, because at least Waluigi, I know what his personality is. Um, am I going to get that Mario Run game? Yeah, probably. I don't think it looks that interesting, but uh, it'll probably be pretty good. So, we'll see. Probably. I don't see myself, like, not trying it, you know. Am I sleepy? Not really, actually. Which is surprising, because this is so... F not the stream, but this game... But this... Catching Phoebus is so fucking boring. Welcome to podcasts. You know, I had a podcast a while back, but I uh, kind of fell out of it. That's something I want to do... I don't think I've said this publicly, but that's something I want to do, or at least plan to do in the future. Like, start, start like a podcast, like stick with it. And but right now I am working on other stuff. But that's something I that's like a future plan I have. I guess is to start up a podcast and really stick with it. The format of it is to be determined, I guess. But because I love the podcast format. I want to be a guest on more podcasts. That's always fun. Have I been to Hawaii? I'd love to, but I have not. Um, I think I've seen you mention Game Grumps, Aaron, Mega Man X alone. Did you like the series? I thought that was brilliant. Um, well, at least the first 75% of it. Because um, I, think, I think Aaron is actually a very... 
it's it's nice to see him just kind of talk real, I guess. Because, you know, when he's playing with, like, Danny, you know, he's more um, focused on being an entertainer, which is good. You know, that's that's um, what you're supposed to do to keep it interesting. But when he's by himself, he just... He, it allows him, I think, to just talk about just deep topics, I think, and very personal topics, which is something you don't get a lot of um, in a lot of Let's Plays. So I thought it was great. And I think he's a very... Um, interesting guy so uh yeah i thought those were great um and i and uh while he kind of focuses more on the game in, in the like the last part of the run but watching him play the like no or was it the only buster <clears throat> excuse me buster only thing was actually pretty fun in itself so i thought it was a very um i really liked that let's play Favorite sushi? I like nigiri the best. Um, I would say eel or mackerel. Oh, and uh, ikura, which is the salmon salmon eggs. Those would be my three favorite. I oh, now I'm fucking hungry. Shit. <laughs> I haven't had sushi in a long time. Um, those would be like, oh, God, I, I want sushi now. Fuck. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Three Vil Tiki. What have you done to me? It's like two eight two thirty here. Will I ever do any more voice acting snippets for Cucumber Quest? Nothing planned right now, but never say never. Um, I do like Nightmare and I a lot. Have I listened to any of the Before the Grumps interviews? I listened to the one where I think Brian interviews Aaron. I thought that one was really I thought that was fascinating. I should listen to the other ones, but I never got around to it. Oops. How do you, how, you ask, how do I be an adult? You just become one, whether you like it or not, and you just kind of figure it out. There is really no advice, advice I can give you. It is a little scary, but you can do it. Ugh. Son of a bitch, magic heart. Do I watch Young Justice? I started the first season. I'm not that far, and now, now that Pokemon Sun is out, I'm completely focused on it. Um, so yeah, um, it's pretty good. I'm not like amazed by it yet, but it's fun. Uh, I can't help but compare it to Justice League, uh, but I gotta try to just enjoy it, I think, as it is. And we'll see. I'm enjoying it anyway. We'll see if I finish it or not. Played Metal Gear. I played the first one, and I couldn't really get into it. But that's a series I actually really want to go back to at some point. If just for the spectacle and story alone. Which sounds like a real mess. Have I ever taken voice acting classes? No, I am self-taught. Favorite Pokemon so far? I... Answered or in terms of design, I think Oricorio is my favorite new Pokemon. Um, besides like Litten and stuff, Crab Brawler or whatever his name is, I really want, but I don't have it yet. That's that might be my favorite design I've seen. I managed to be relatively unspoiled when it comes to the Alola designs, not the Alola forms, which everyone fucking showed everywhere. But the actual new Alola Pokemon, I haven't seen that many of. So, those have been a surprise to me, which is nice. Because um, I, I actively try to not watch the trailers. I watch maybe like one or two, but I tried to keep it a surprise as much as I could. Which 
doesn't really work when you're on the internet, but yeah. I've been talking for like an hour straight and that's hard. What's the most money I've spent on one video game? I don't know. I don't think I've ever spent on anything like... Maybe like Z Xenoblade Chronicles, which I haven't even played yet. I play, I think I played... I paid like a little over 60-something for that. Maybe like 70. Um, 64, 65. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't us usually pay exorbitant amounts for games. I never want to see another Magic Cup in my life. God. Magic Cup is a pile of garbage. So the bubble rocks, like, do they just randomly pop up, or do I have to go find them? I've seen them, but they, like, disappear. So, like, like, what the hell, like, what's the deal with those? I got some more water. All that talk about sushi made me hungry, so I had to grab a snack. Favorite Eevee evolution? Vaporeon. Nosferatu is a good name for a Litten. Yeah, sorry if you hate chewing, because <laughs> I'm eating now. Um, my bad, I guess, but fucking I'm hungry. eating I'm eating Serbian honey cakes I got this in my munch pack which is a um, uh, subscription like food box I get um, from munch pack um, which they disclaimer they sent to me for free which is very nice of them um, and so they, they, they just put international snacks in there and these Serbian honey cakes are quite satisfying I tried octopus nigiri for the first time and it was good. I wasn't expecting the octopus to have a firm snap. And that's the that's part of the appeal, man. Octopus is great. These are also shaped like little hearts, which is um a nice touch. I 
I assume people don't usually eat when they're streaming on, like, like real Twitch streamers usually don't eat. Probably because it's fucking gross to hear people chew, but I am not a real Twitch streamer. I am as casual as it gets. Are they chewy or like sure these? They are chewy. Um, they're like very, I think they're kind of like a sugar cookie. I don't know. They're very soft. Magikarp, I fucking hate you. Heart snacks for all of those heart scales you're picking up. That is very appropriate, yeah. I'm getting a shitload of heart scales, a shitload of pearls. People always like complain though. They're like, oh, I hate chewing sounds, which is fine if you hate it, but I don't know. Just some people seem very like upset. I always, whenever I'm listening to like podcasts, like they're always like, oh, we're sorry we're eating or whatever. A big pearl. That's not a Phoebus. I mean, you know, honestly, at this point, like, like if I don't catch a Phoebus and I just end it, what a pathetic end to the stream. Like, what a pointless, just a pointless mess. Is that all? Oh, there's some crumbs in there. Melodix great though. What are you gonna use it for? Nothing. I'm just gonna throw it in a box. <laughs> Cause um, that's what I do. That's what you do with like 99% of your Pokemon is throw them in a box. Um. Are we gonna come, Phoebus? The fuck. Look, we all know that when you find the Phoebus, you're gonna crit it and it dies. Nope, I'm gonna throw Ultra Balls at it. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna try to attack it. That's just. That's just a fool's errand there. That's not. I'm too smart for that. Maybe I'll. Do I have any status effect moves? I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, if I. I am not even gonna try to attack that little fuck. out because when you're snacking you gotta eat the crumbs at the end anyone who doesn't I don't trust them Do I have goals for my main squad of Pokemon? No. Like, I mentioned before that I'm trying to make my, my team only, um, or, like, new Pokemon. So, I guess that would be my goal, but otherwise, no. Just trying to find good ones. My ultimate goal, as always, is getting a complete dex. So, after I beat the game, I'll be focusing on, you know... Because every every new game comes out, it's like it's like you gotta renew your license, you know, your um, Pokemon Master license. A 
opinion on the new Pokemon anime. I don't watch the Pokemon anime, but from what I've seen from clips, it looks fun. I think the animation looks good. It's interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't... You know, and I'm just, like, from what I saw, like, clips of, like, because I have friends who watch, like, you know, the XY anime. From what I saw, it looked pretty good, but I just, you know, I don't see myself ever watching Pokemon, um, like, again. Um, part of that is, um, I just love the original voice actors so much. And I think, I think the new voice actors are pretty good. Um, but it's a little, it's a little hard for me. Although I watched, I watched, I think, like, we watched, like, one episode of the XY anime on a whim on Netflix, and it was pretty good. So. And you know what? Also, Misty's not there. So, what's even the point, honestly? What did I think of Gem Harvest? I thought it was brilliant. Um, I really liked it a lot. Steven Universe is so good. I think the Pokemon, the new Pokemon voice, I don't get people who, like, hate on them, the new Pokemon voice actors, because it's like, they're just, they're just, they got a job, they're doing it, you know? It's not like they, you know, want to be, like, like, it wasn't up to them to fire the original cast. Um, from what I've heard, you know, they are, um, good at their jobs, so... My favorite Viners. Off the top of my head. Um, ooh, there's, there's a couple good ones. Not even Emily. Was that her name? I feel horrible that I don't remember. Uh, she was really good. Um, I think I have like a list of them or something. People always... Not, not like on Twitter or Tumblr, but on Vine, because Vine commenters are the worst. They they would always give, like a couple people would always give me shit like, why don't you follow anyone on Vine? Because I didn't. But the truth was, I never used the app to like watch Vines. Excuse me. I always just watched them like, um, on like if someone linked them to me, and I would go to that person's page on desktop and just watch all their Vines. Uh, let's see, not even Emily, um... Gabriel Gundecker was really good. Uh, who else was there? Um, Matt Post. Uh, Sarah Shower. Um, Electro Lemon. Hemtube. Did I say James White? If not, I'll say it again. Uh, Danny Gonzalez is pretty good. Or really good. Um, a It's Pinayo. I liked. Thomas Sanders is good. Um, Cody Co, K O Co. Yeah, those are those. Were, I would say those are my favorite uh, Viners. Come on, fucking bite. Like, it's not enough that I gotta, like, it's a 1% chance rate to fucking catch the thing. But, like, f fucking 60% of the time, the, it doesn't even bite. Like, it just makes it so much longer. Uh, 
Did I ever watch Bee and Puppy Cat? I watched the first episode, it wasn't my thing. Would I consider How as a new husbando? Nah, he's too, he's too young. Also, I'm not even, I don't, I don't know. How is okay. Oh my god, fucking bite the rod. Jesus Christ. Christ. There you go. Favorite gem in Steven Universe? Uh, Pearl. Have I seen that one trainer NPC who is really enthusiastic about knees? <laughs> no, I have not. I guess I'll look forward to that. Have I seen any of the new Cartoon Network pilots? I saw... Infinity Train was pretty good. Um, what was the one... There was one, it was like, oh, like, the they were like middle schoolers, and they like go inside her mind, and then like, it's really like surreal and wacky. And there was like the butt witch, who had like uh, a British man's voice. I thought that one was fun. Um, those were the only two I think I've seen. I just... I'm at this point, I'm just almost convinced that Phoebus doesn't even fucking exist. Hey, Goldine, you're not Phoebus. Ugh, I guess I'll get more water. Fuck you, Goldine. Suck my dick. I find this fucking Phoebus in the next f I would say my limit is like 40 minutes from now because I do need to get up at a somewhat reasonable time but you know who knows I might be stubborn and push the push past that I would say 40 minutes is like a good idea like after that it's a good idea to go to sleep but then maybe like an hour is like my max I don't know oh great another fucking battery is low all right Wow, that's how long I've been playing this. Jesus. How many big pearls do I even have at this point? Oh, 34. And 30 pearls. It's quite a bit. Have I ever watched Over the Garden Wall? I have not. Did I ever end up kept grabbing the, the Drift Loon from the cemetery? I... Yeah, I did. Yeah. That one was infuriating because I didn't realize it was only in the daytime, so I wasted a lot of time. 
like at night trying to catch that fucking thing. Is this because of the guy in the lab in the Pokemon Center? Yep. I'm trying to trying to get the Phoebus for this guy. Am I fishing in the right place? I think so. I'm pretty sure this is it. It's that place with the where the water totem is. Unless I'm mistaken, which in that case, I'll just uh, quit the stream on a rage. All these people giving their testimonies about their reaction to the getting the Phoebus makes me want to power through and get this fucking Phoebus. Do I have a favorite Pokemon evolution? You can't go wrong with the Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. This is pretty chill, doing a stream like this. Maybe I'll, if I'm really bored while playing Pokemon, I'll do another one. We'll see. I was do <coughs> I was doing a randomized Pokemon Crystal playthrough, which I'll probably go back to at some point, but I just don't have time. How do I feel about mid-evolution starters? Depends on them, I guess. Um, a lot of them are very awkward. Have I seen Neil Cesariga's Poke Rap? I have, and it's very good. Um, I don't have a 3DS capture card, so I'm not streaming footage, so it's just me. Sorry. I know you can get, I know doing the bubble water ups the encounter rate, but honestly just going back and forth just seems like a pain in the ass and it's only what, like a 5% as opposed to a 1%? I mean, maybe I won't, but I don't know. Maybe, you know what, maybe I will. God. I don't have any repels, though. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is go get some repels. And then just, I guess, because I am running out of time. I guess I'll try to get out of my... You can't even see what I'm doing, so I should not react to things happening on screen. I'll just run to the center. Get some repels. Because I have, like, what, 60 pearls now. I'll be able to afford it. And then I'll go back and I'll try to do the um, pools or whatever. Do the ripples disappear? Or, like, do they just stay there? Because it seemed like one of them um, disappeared as I approached it.
Okay. First, let's sell these pearls. Probably gonna make bank off this. Oh, holy dicks. Yeah, that's quite a lot of money. All right. So now I got the moolah. Let's uh, buy some repels. If you're surfing, does that count towards your egg count in this game? I know in other games it does, but in this one does it? Because if so, maybe I can hatch this egg too. Guys, I understand how <laughs> probability works, but part of the fun for me was like, maybe I can get it on the 1%, but um, at this point I'm caving and I'm getting the, getting the repels for the stupid puddles or bubbles or whatever the fuck. I can't even talk anymore. Alright. Now, do they reset... Okay, let's find a bubble. Oh, fucking dicks. Don't go on the dock. Okay, here you go. Let's find a bubbly. Oh, that's how long repel lasts? Jesus. Oh, okay, here's one. Alright. Hello, Repel Seller. I'm going into battle, and I want only your strongest repels. Oh, they disappear once? Like, after you did it once? I guess that's why people soft reset. God damn it. Ugh. How do you soft reset again? I never do it, so... What do you do? I guess I guess I'll do that. Ah, start LR. Okay. All right, I'm at the point now. I'm just gonna. I wanted to do the 1% because it just seemed like, you know, I'll get it, right? But, nah, I'm going to go I'm gonna go for the 5% soft reset, which is, not going to lie, feels a little bit like cheating. But, I also don't care anymore. So let's exit this area on my trusty steed, Tauros. And now let's find a bubble patch. Where are you, Bubbles? There you are. Alright. Let's save. And let's see how long it takes when I do this. Because I've been, I've been doing this for about... God, how long now? Fuck! Like, th three hours? Okay. Alright. There we go. Wow. 12 hours game time. Three hours of that. 
was this fucking shit. You fucking dildo. Because, you know, I've caught 1% Pokemon before. And it never took this long. Hey, Game Freak, in your next game, just have the fishing pole bite every time. Like, what is the problem? Or what is the point, I mean? Hello, Magikarp. Oh, yeah, this is still a Q&A, by the way, so you guys can ask questions. Otherwise, it's going to be me just sitting here in frustration. Where do you get the fishing pole? You're gonna get it. You'll get it from the um, water captain. So just, just, just play the game. You'll get it naturally. I am sure I'm fishing in the right area. Yes. What's the most fun voice for me to do? You know, I don't have a favorite. All of them. How much do I love Mimikyu? A lot. I'm excited to catch one eventually. Um, what song do I never get tired of? Never get tired of. Uh, hmm. There's a One Piece opening. Opening 12, Kaze wo Sagashite. I love that song, and I'll always love that song. How old is Effie? She is... Two, almost three. She'll be three in, I think, a couple months, I think. She's still a baby. Have I heard the Mimikyu rap? I have, but it's very cute. Listen, Game Freak, if I'm gonna be doing the soft resetting and it's one out of 20, I expect this to take only one, what will be the math on that? One fifth of the time? Come on, you little bitch. There you go! My god, you horrible little ugly fuck! You... Oh my god. Alright, well let's catch it anyway. Hold on. Henry woke up. Hey. I'm streaming right now. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm doing I'm trying to catch Phoebus. 
What? Why am I streaming? On Twitch. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Good night. Okay. All right. There we go. I caught that little garbage pile. Thank you for joining me. I will see you guys some other time. I'll show you the. I'll show you Phoebus. There he is. There's this little horrible little monster. And it only took, you know, when I finally gave in and did the soft resetting, wow, that took it like no time at all. But I don't regret it. It was part of the journey. All right. Goodbye, everybody.